Hey everyone, hope you're good. I'm Timo and we're back on CSGO for the fourth video in our £10 to a knife series, where we're trying to get a knife from not much. We're just using cheap and profitable trade-ups mainly to try and get there. Much like the last video, we're going to be using the Millspec Fracture Collection for all of today's trade-ups, so hopefully we can build the budget some more. Please like the video and subscribe down below, and if you have any questions or just want to chat about skins and trade-ups and just have a bit of fun, then I stream every Wednesday and Saturday over on Twitch. There's a link down below in the description. We start this one off on the back of a profit video last time, so we've got £19.18 budget, which is 21.29 in euros or 24.82 in dollars. I work everything out with Trade-Up Spy. It's a very useful site. Check them out with my link in the description or use code TIMO on the site if you buy premium as it gets you two free days for each month that you buy. So first today we're going to be mixing the Clutch Collection with Fracture from Millspec to Restricted. And for this we're going to use four skins from the Clutch Collection which are all going to be in Factory New. We've got one of the Flame Tests, two Alohas and an Oxide Blaze. And then the other six skins for the Trade Up are all in Minimal Wear and these are all from the Fracture Collection. So I'll get those in and get a picture up for you guys. Keep the average float below 0.07 here so you can get all the outcomes in Factory New. This costs £1.45, so 161 in euros or 188 in dollars. We get a near 15% return and a 60% chance to profit, and that's going to be on all five of the Fracture outcomes. Clutch is a loss, but as with Clutch earlier in this series, the Negev Lionfish is the worst outcome and it only loses about half the cost of the trade up. The Mag 7 Monster Call is what we want ideally, as it's more than double our money on the trade up, but of course any fracture outcome is a win, so we'll just be happy to get any one of those. So let's see how we can start off with this first one today. And we get the Kit Bash from Fracture, so that's cool, that does give us a tiny profit on the trade up. It's nothing spectacular, I think it's maybe like 30 pence or something, but it comes with a 0 0.0559 float. So yeah, you go have a little look at that, and yeah, it's a decent little MP5, it's nothing too spectacular obviously, but of course it does give us a profit for the trade up, and when we resell it, it'll give us a tiny little profit just after the steam tax. So yeah, nothing amazing about it, but it is a decent start for this first one. The next one is Millspec to Restricted and mixing Chroma 3 with Prisma and Fracture. We have four Factory New Chroma 3 skins for this, which are a couple of the Oceanics and a couple of the Atlases. And then we have three skins from Fracture, which are in Minimal Wear, the old Rusties, and then we have three Minimal Wear Prisma skins to go with it. Keep the average float below 0.07 for all Factory New outcomes on the trade-up. It costs £1.66. So 184 in euros or 215 in dollars. We get just over 20% return and a 50% chance to profit. That's going to be on the SG Ghost Crusader from Chroma 3, all of the fracture outcomes, and then the light rail and the Atheris from Prisma. The other outcomes are losses, but the XM black tie is only a tiny loss, and the worst outcomes are the three Prisma fails, and they'll only lose just over half the cost of the trade-up. We managed to get a cheeky Atheris earlier in the season, there should be a card for you if you've missed it, but can we do it again on the same 6% odds? If you've got any trade-up ideas or wins to share, then come chat in our Discord, there's a link down below in the description for that. But for this, hopefully we're going to be able to find some profit. So let's do it and see what we get here. And we get a Tech 9 Brother from Fracture. So we do get one of the Fracture skins, that's cool. It does give us a profit, but I think it's probably one of the smaller profits from the trade up. Uh, there we go. The cool little thing about that is that on the end, <laughs> the little terrorist head. But yeah, there we go. There's the side of it. And uh, that comes with a 0 0.0697 float. So just into Factory New there. But yep, that's again a very small profit on the trade-up, but it is a profit nonetheless. So nothing too spectacular about the skin, obviously. It's nothing special except the little face. But um, yeah, still a nice profit for the trade-up. And yeah, hopefully if we can manage to pull something out of the third one as well, we can finish with another all-profit video, which would be really nice. So hopefully that happens. And now to the third trade-up, and we're doing almost the same as the final ones that we did last time, but we're changing out one skin. It's a Millspec to Restricted Chroma and Fracture trade up, but I've put one Prisma skin in there too for this time, as a chance that the Atheris is just too tempting. So it's quite nice to also mix the trade ups a little bit. So this is three Factory New Chroma skins, which is one of the Glock Catacombs, one of the XM Quicksilvers, and one of the Scar 20 Grottos. 
And then we've got six minimal wear skins from the Fracture Collection, which are all of those there. And then finally, one skin in minimal wear from the Prisma Collection to finish it off. Average float is below 0.07 for all factory new outcomes, and it's the most expensive trade up in this one at £1.73, so €192 Euros or $2.24 in dollars. We get a 23.5% return and a 74.5% chance to profit. That's going to be on the Desert Eagle Naga, all of the Fracture skins, and then the Atheris and Light Rail from Prisma. The three Chroma fails aren't too bad of a loss. It's the Prisma fail outcomes that we really want to avoid as they will lose over half of our money. Hopefully the big odds favour us though and we can manage to land a final profit at the end here. Come on. And we get Jewelbra as Urban Shock, so that's a little bit of a shame. They are one of the fail outcomes, unfortunately, so that is going to be a loss on that trade-up. But they are only one of the small losses from the Chroma Collection. Um, it's, what, 0.032 float, so they're quite a nice factory new float. But yeah, I think that's going to lose us around 50 pence on the trade-up, the Urban Shocks. So I pretty much think we're going to be around break even on that today with two small wins on the two fracture skins we got and then the chroma hit there unfortunately not being the naga so yeah we'll end up having to take a small little loss on the trade up there but hopefully it'll bring us out around break even come the end so i'll just jump out here guys work out what we've ended up with today and i'll be back in a second so today we spent four pounds and 84 of our budget so that's 538 in euros or 627 in dollars the market prices of the outcomes today are 562 in pounds, so 625 in euros or 728 in dollars. So this does actually mean that we make a profit today after steam tax, but it's only of 6p, so it's 7 euro cents or 8 USD cents. We hit two of the trade-ups today, but we only got low profit outcomes on the two hits. And then for the final one, we hit some of the 25.5% fail chance, which was a bit harsh, but we still end up with the tiniest of profits on the video. So at least it's not a loss, and that's the main thing for me, is just to keep building the budget, even if it's only with very small profits. But thank you all so much for watching. You can also check out my Twitter, website, and a bunch of other ways to support the channel down below in the description. Cheers, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.